Hi, I'm Jennifer Hume, I'm 22 and I'm the assistant grower here at Family Fresh Farms. We were a 2.5 hectare, two glass house facility in Pete's Ridge, so a total of five hectares. We grow mini snacking cukes that are provided to all of the main supermarkets across the country and we go through Perfection Fresh to sell these produce. I'm sure many of you know what mini cukes are, but if you haven't seen them, they're basically small cucumbers. You can get them at all the shops. As you can see here, we grow them straight off these vines like this. Cukes and mini vegetables in particular like this are grown in protected cropping glass houses because they grow so fast and they're so sensitive to certain weather conditions and things like that. We can really, really create the perfect climate in here for them and we can really get the biggest yields, the best quality and really just have the best produce by controlling everything that we can in a glass house like this. Protected cropping is obviously cropping in a protected space. So whether that's under glass houses, whether that's under tunnels, it's just, if it's not in an open field and it's protected under some sort of covering, that's protected cropping. So mainly fruit and vegetables are grown under protected cropping. And of course, because there's so many more people in the world now and there's so much less space, protected cropping's becoming so important. It's so much more intensive. We can fit a lot more in a lot smaller of a space. So it fits in the supply chain in that way. It's very important to get as much as we can out of as little space and as little resources as possible. So I think protected cropping is really a very quickly developing and growing industry in that sense. My role in the business and my responsibilities here are basically to grow this crop. So everything to do with climate control, things to do with labour management, anything to do with any pests, any disease. I'm in charge of looking after this glass house basically. So any problems or anything that happens with this house that's my responsibility. So my day-to-day -day activities, I have basis, basic things that stay the same and then there's some things that change every single day. So we always start off with a morning meeting with the team. We always tell everyone what they're gonna be doing for the day so they know. We all come into the glass houses. Obviously I supervise their harvests. I see them each individually in the mornings, tell them what's expected for the day. And then that changes between how much yield we have, what the weather's gonna be like, is how we harvest the crop. And then, of course, I mix fertilisers. That happens every few days. I'm constantly scouting, looking for pests, looking for disease, anything like that. Constantly doing climate control, making sure that every setting's perfect, making sure that the temperature's always good, that the humidity's always good. And then there's obviously things that you don't have to do every day, but that are just as important. So that's perimeter checks, you know, checking the whole farm, checking the whole field, just making sure that everything's up to date, everything's running smoothly, Anything that needs maintenance is looked after, but it's very much mainly in the crop, looking at the crop and how you can improve what's happening in the glass houses. So cukes, the process they go through, they obviously we get the seedlings come in, small plants, within a week they're ready to be picked. So we have our team come through, we harvest them straight off the vines. They get put into trolleys and we take them through. We have our own pack shed. So we have workers that pack the cukes straight into the punnets that you see at the supermarkets. So those punnets will then get put in our cold room. They get quality checked. They get cooled to the correct temperatures. And then we have the distribution trucks that come in and these will take them through to Perfection Fresh's distribution centre who we sell our produce through. And then that goes straight from them, straight onto the shelves. Sydney Markets, Coles, Aldi, Woolworths, you get it at Costco. So all of the main brands around Australia, we provide from them, straight from the vines. <laughs> My journey into farming and horticulture is quite interesting. I'm actually not from a farming family at all. So I came into this, I went and studied a Bachelor of Agriculture, majoring in plant production up at UNE in Armidale. So I studied that for three years. And obviously as part of that degree, I had to do 90 days work experience. So for that 90 days, I used to work at a farm further down the road. So my old boss actually recommended this farm as somewhere I could come to, to do a bit of work experience. So I worked here for two weeks and then they offered me part-time work while I studied at the same time, which of course I took up a facility like this. I wasn't gonna turn an offer like that down. And then as soon as I graduated, they offered me full-time in this role. And so since then I've been working here every day, just building up my skills. There's so many things I enjoy about working in horticulture and protected cropping in particular. 
It's just, it's such a fulfilling job. You know, it really gives you perspective on how much work goes into the food you see at the groceries. And you go to a friend's house and you see your produce in their fridges and you see it served up at dinners at restaurants. And it's just, it's really a fulfilling job to see the impact you're making. And just to see, especially because it's a lot more sustainable protected cropping. So you're making an impact on the shelves at supermarkets and you're also making an impact environmentally. But this job in particular is just, it's fast paced, you're, you get to do hands-on work, you also get to be behind a computer, so you get best of both worlds. It's just a very rewarding job, you get to work with some amazing people. There's a lot of opportunities for you, you know, you get to travel around, I get to see other farms. So it's a very rewarding job, that's for sure. So of course there's a lot of roles that you can learn on the job and that the job will train you for. But even just before you start in protected cropping, there's a lot you can do. Like we have glasshouse administrators. So things like Excel, Excel courses, those are really recommended for roles like that. Of course, computer courses. This is a Priva system that we use for our climate control. And there's Priva courses available online that you can do as well. So forklift licenses, of course, they're not hard to get. So those are always useful, honestly, in any role in horticulture. And then there's roles like leadership, leadership roles and leadership management courses that you can do. You can always get started in those even before you get into the industry and things like that will give you a leg up and will help you really get into the roles you want a lot faster. Any advice I would give into anyone thinking about getting into horticulture is just give it a shot. You really don't know until you've tried if this is for you. Even if you're not from a farming family, even if you don't know everything about it, you learn on the job. So don't think that initial knowledge is the most important thing because you do pick it up fast. So I really just recommend getting into the industry getting into a role that interests you and you will be amazed at how quickly you will find something that's really specific to what you love and what you can progress further. But even within protected cropping, there is a lot of positions available for young people and you don't have to know everything, you don't have to have done a degree, you don't have to be from big family farms, it really is available for everybody. You just have to be driven and you have to show that you are interested and the roles will become available for you.